Centipedes are common arthropods known worldwide for their frightening appearance and hundreds of legs. Although they feed on many insect pests, they can infest our homes in high numbers, and some species are even venomous to people. So in this video, we'll show you how to identify and get rid of centipedes so your home can stay free from these invasive predators. To shop for the products featured in this video and learn even more about centipede control, click the icon in the top right of the screen or click the link in the description below. The first thing you should do in any pest control plan is identify what exactly you're dealing with. Careless identification can lead to wrong treatment methods, costing you time and money. Many people worldwide think centipedes are freaky looking, and those people are right. Centipedes in the United States vary greatly in size, growing to be one to six inches in length. Their bodies appear flattened, and their colors can include yellow, brown, black, gray, or red. Centipedes have long antennae, and if you look closely, they have only one pair of legs for every body segment they have. Even though their name implies they have 100 legs, centipedes actually have anywhere from 30 to over 300 individual legs. Fun fact, if a centipede were to lose any legs, it can easily regrow them. Some people may mistake centipedes for a similar pest, millipedes. Though they seem like similar pests, it's important to distinguish the two as they are different arthropods with different habitats, behaviors, and treatment methods. Millipedes can grow up to 2 inches in length. Their bodies are semi-cylindrical in shape, and they're typically black or brown in color. They have relatively short antennae, and they have two pairs of legs per body segment. There are only a few native species of centipede in the United States, and they look like what you would expect most centipedes to look like, including the bark centipede, cryptobid centipede, and the scolopendrid centipede. These centipedes are rare invaders and more common in certain regions than others. What's more is these centipedes are venomous and known to bite humans when mishandled. Caution is necessary when dealing with any of these species. However, there is one species that occurs very frequently in households across the United States and the world, and that's the house centipede. This appropriately named centipede only grows to about an inch in length and is very bizarre looking compared to most centipedes thanks to its extremely long legs and antennae. This centipede is the most common one that people encounter. The good news is, it's non-venomous, yet still a nuisance to many homeowners if it invades frequently or in large numbers. Inspection is the next phase of any good pest control plan. Once you know what your pests look like, check around your property to confirm their presence or find hotspots of activity. Centipedes invade our homes looking for food and shelter. Their diet consists of insects like roaches, moths, flies, and other common home invading insects. Some people consider centipedes as beneficial, but their continued presence can indicate larger pest concerns. Centipedes leave no evidence of their activity, and they frequently move around to different parts of the home. It's best to inspect for spots that are conducive to their activity. Centipedes prefer dark and moist areas. Indoors, you should check areas like your basement, garage, bathroom, crawl spaces, and any other room that can reasonably become very humid. Move boxes and clutter aside to reduce hiding spots and note any sites that will need to be addressed. Outdoors, look for spots where standing water can form and also spots that can retain high amounts of moisture, like bricks, wood piles, and leaves. Check the outer perimeter of your structure for entry points centipedes can use to get into your home, like around doors, windows, or other cracks and voids in the wall. Take note of every site you find, as this will direct where you'll focus your treatment. After identifying your pests and inspecting for activity on your property, it's time to start treatment. Before starting any treatment, be sure to wear your personal protective equipment or PPE. And remember to keep all people and pets off the treated areas until dry. Before starting your treatment, you'll need to address the high moisture sites you found during your inspection. Indoors, you may need to repair leaks or reduce humidity in other ways, such as using a dehumidifier or air conditioner. Outdoors, you may need to employ some simple lawn care techniques to promote air circulation and water evaporation. Rake and dethatch your lawn and trim down overhanging tree branches to ensure your lawn retains the proper amount of water. Once you reduce your home's moisture, centipedes will already be less likely to stay active in your home. Once you've addressed your property's moisture issue, you'll need to use products labeled for centipede control like Reclaim IT and Defense Dust. You'll use these insecticides to treat for centipedes indoors and outdoors, then create a barrier to stop them from coming in. Start your chemical treatment with Reclaim IT. Reclaim IT is a liquid insecticide concentrate that's labeled to control over 70 pests. This product is not only great for controlling centipedes, but it'll also treat many insects that centipedes feed on. Before starting, calculate your lawn's square footage to determine how much product you need to use. Do this by measuring the area's length and width and multiplying them together. We recommend you use a rate of 0.5 fluid ounces of Reclaim IT per one gallon of water. This will treat 1,000 square feet of treatment area. We also recommend you use a one gallon hand pump sprayer due to its ease of use and versatility. To use a hand pump sprayer, open the sprayer, add half a gallon of water, and add your measured amount of Reclaim IT. Add the remaining half gallon, close the sprayer, and shake to ensure an even distribution. Pump your sprayer a few times to produce a low pressure spray. 
First, make a broadcast application of Reclaim IT over your entire lawn. Remember, you're not only treating centipedes, but you're also treating their food sources, other insects. Additionally, you'll want to treat in ornamental beds, overlaid bricks, and rocks where centipedes are commonly found. Once you finish your broadcast application, spray the entry points you've noted around the outside of your home, like doors, windows, vent openings, and other voids in the wall. After you've treated the entry points, conduct a perimeter treatment around your structure. Start at one point and continue to treat along the outside of your structure by spraying three feet up the structure and three feet out. Be careful to avoid overlapping this application with your prior treatment. When you're done treating outdoors, you can proceed inside your structure. When applying indoors, Reclaim IT can be used at the same rate you used outdoors, but can only be used for spot and crack and crevice applications. Do not make a broadcast application inside your home. First, make spot or crack and crevice applications around plumbing or underneath appliances. Then spray along your baseboards to treat centipedes or any insects that may travel there. Once your spray application is dry, use an insecticide like defense dust to treat small openings where you've seen centipede or other insect activity. Defense dust is a dry, water-resistant, insecticidal dust that can be applied to voids, cracks, and crevices to stop many pests from invading structures for up to eight months. To use defense dust, you'll need a handheld duster with a long, narrow spout to treat tight cracks and crevices. You'll want to apply defense dust at a rate of 0.5 pounds per 1,000 square feet. Fill the duster about halfway with dust, leaving plenty of room for air circulation. Hold the duster with a cavity toward the bottom, shake, and squeeze the duster to apply the product. Treat along the edge of carpeting, along baseboards where you've seen centipedes or other insects. Also apply dust behind and underneath high moisture areas like sinks and appliances. Finally, you'll need to set up traps to monitor for future centipede and pest activity. We recommend you use Pro Glue Boards for quick setup and effective trapping. Simply peel off the wax paper to expose the glue, and it's ready to be placed. Set these boards parallel to the wall, near the entry points you've spotted, and out of the reach of children or pets. With proper placement, if any pests are able to invade, you'll find them stuck on the glue board. If you, a child, or a pet get stuck on the glue board, you can use vegetable oil to loosen the stickiness. Prevention is essential in keeping pests in check. Even after you've applied pesticides, the best way to stop centipede activity is to make sure it can't happen. Continue to maintain a low moisture environment in and around your structure. Centipedes are prone to dehydration and will avoid areas that are not moist enough for them. Additionally, be sure to make follow-up applications of Reclaim IT. Under normal conditions, Reclaim IT has a residual that will last up to 90 days, so we recommend you make applications every three months for year-round control. Remember, Reclaim IT doesn't just treat centipedes, but also other insects that centipedes can feed on. If there's no food, then centipedes have no reason to invade your property. Centipedes are common invaders, but some are more dangerous than others. Even the common household centipede can be a nuisance in large numbers, but there are ways to control an infestation that's gone out of hand. With these professional products and tips from Solutions Pest and Lawn, you can stop centipedes from infesting your home, and we offer same-day shipping to help you get control quickly. Visit our website to get your products today. If you like this how-to guide, please share. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe for more how-to and product videos, and contact us for more tips, tricks, and DIY pest solutions.